Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming this at kind of an awkward hour of the day so I apologize for all those like lines behind me but we're gonna make this work and it's gonna be great. So guys it is fall we are coming to winter and in Georgia it has been hecka hecka cold and I know a lot of the other parts of the country have been experiencing the same thing and I know cold weather happens in a lot of places around the world so I wanted to go ahead and do a video about my cold weather skincare favorites because I have a lot a lot a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about because my skin does get super super dry I'm also eczema prone guys I'm not gonna lie these lines are bothering me hold on let me fix this real quick so I'm also eczema prone so I have a lot of skin problems and sensitive skin issues so I wanted to share some of the things that I have been loving lately with this cold weather going on and hopefully this can help some of you who struggle with sensitive skin or dry skin especially during these winter time months so anyway let me go ahead and share with you guys what I have so I'm gonna start with my face so the first thing that I recommend which may sound a little crazy is the St. Ives acne control um, oil-free salicylic acid acne medication apricot scrub here's what it looks like you can also just get the regular apricot scrub without the salicylic acid I really just like the exfoliation factor of this face wash which I know sounds weird when it comes to dry skin and cold weather but here's why exfoliation is important if you're not exfoliating and you're just putting on moisturizer 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 your face is never gonna feel undry What's the word? Moisturize? <laughs> because you're basically, you have all this dead skin on your face and you are basically just moisturizing that dead skin. So you need to exfoliate in order to get all that dead skin off and to be able to moisturize the face underneath. So if you don't exfoliate now, start slowly with it. This is my recommendation, but there's a ton of other exfoliators out there that you could use. Um, I recommend this one because it feels great, it smells great and i just honestly now whenever i wash my face if i'm not using this it just does not feel as clean because this like gets off all that dead skin and all that grime and all that makeup so i literally love it so 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 much but um just start off slow if you don't do it now and work your way up i do this twice a day now so i'm pretty used to it on my skin and it just feels super, super amazing and gets off all that nasty dead skin so you can moisturize your actual face. <laughs> I also recommend rose water and glycerin. This is by Heritage Store. They also have just regular rose water, but I find that the rose water and glycerin works better for my skin. Um, I usually buy this on Amazon, but I also recently found out that TJ Maxx stocks it up. So I've been buying it from TJ Maxx. It's vegan, cruelty-free, eco-friendly. It's literally just, it says purified water, vegetable glycerin, and hydro essential rose. And I've been using this, I'm sorry, I got itchy nose. I've been using this for probably like mm, three years now, four years now. And I love it so, so, so much. Um, <laughs> just adjusting, cause the sun is going down, it just, the most perfect time. I've been using it for like three or four years now and I feel like it helps my skin so, so, so much with my acne scarring and things like that. I feel like it helps to balance out my skin. It makes my thin skin feel very uh, luxuriously soft um, and I think it helps moisturize it as well. Um, so usually I start with this both in the morning and at night and then I will use this afterwards and then I will let it dry before I move on to my next step. And I just really, really, really love it. It's not too expensive. I think it's like $8 on Amazon for this at TJ Maxx, so $6.99. Um, but it's really, really great. I highly recommend, gotta love it. After that, if it is the daytime, I will use sunblock. This is another very, very, very important step in your skincare process for winter time. I know winter time, it's not as sunny, but there's still a lot of UV that's hitting your face and you don't want to mess your skin up 
by not putting on sunblock, especially if you have acne scars like me or any other scars, you wanna protect your skin. So I highly recommend sunblock. This is my absolute favorite sunblock. It's called Sunbum. This is an SPF 50, um, gluten-free, vegan, antioxidant enriched, dermatologist text tested, blah, 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 um, cruelty-free. So it's, the reason I like this one is because it has all of these vitamins in it that make me feel like I'm also moisturizing my skin when I use the sunblock on my face. And I just really, 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 really love it. I cannot say enough good things about this sunblock. Like, it's not oily on your skin. It, like, really gets absorbed into your skin. And, yeah, I just like the fact that I'm protecting my skin, but I'm also moisturizing it at the same time when I use this product. So, that is why I love this one. It is nighttime after I use this. Um, I really, really have been enjoying this vitamin C facial serum. Uh, it says brightening by Province Beauty. It's natural and vegan. Um, so yes, there's not a lot of sun outs in the winter time. So I think that vitamin C is important for our skin to soak up all of those nutrients. And I really like this serum in particular because it smells like oranges and it's just delicious. <laughs> and so I put that on and I feel like it really it, I wouldn't say it moisturizes my skin, but I feel like I can feel my skin soaking up the nutrients. And I know that sounds weird, but I have noticed my skin has been like glowing a little bit more since I started using this stuff. And I've just really, really, really been enjoying it. I think it helps a lot. Um, I don't really know how to describe it because it does not feel moisturizing, but it feels like brightening just like it says in the package that's what i'm gonna say okay and then lastly in my nighttime process um i like to use a face oil and i've heard very mixed things about face oil but here's the thing i think if you are exfoliating using serums um toning before you use the face oil i think your skin soaks it up pretty well and i feel like the face oil has really helped me um since i moved to georgia with cold weather um, to feel more moisturized because I feel like a moisturizer just really doesn't cut it for me anymore at least not the cheap ones that I can afford I can't afford face oil however so that is what I've been sticking to and I try to put it on like at least a half an hour before bed so that way my skin can absorb most of it so it doesn't get all over my pillow and you know my skin isn't soaking any of it in so my two favorites this one I have really really loved it is called rosehip oil can you see that? Rosehip oil by Olivia Care. Um, it says 100% natural rosehip oil face serum, omegas A, C, and sorry, vitamins A, C, and omega-6. This one has felt really, really, really incredible on my skin. I also bought this one from TJ Maxx. And then I just recently got this one. This one is called the Beauty Foundry Oil Essentials Repairing Rose Beauty Oil. With coconut oil, helps nourish and repair damaged skin for a youthful, healthy, and looking radiance. Um, this one is also vegan and cruelty free. And I just, I really like the smell of it. I think rose has been really helpful in, mm, oh yes. I think rose has been really helpful in helping repair my skin with my acne scars and everything else. My dry skin, all of that. I really think rose helps, which is why I do the rose water and glycerin and then I do the rose facial oil. I really, really, really like it. Um, I think it really is hydrating and it feels great. Gotta love it. Okay, so next I wanna talk about some body skincare. So first off, I have been trying EOS shaving cream and I have really, really been loving this. Believe it or not, I've been shaving since I was like 12 and I never have used a shaving cream until recently when the head of my razor kept falling off and I was like, what the heck, why is this happening? And I realized it was because my skin was so dry that the razor just kept falling off. And when I started using this, it actually stayed on and it let me shave. Um, I like this because it has moisturizers in it. So it says 24 hours of deep moisturizer, natural shea butter and aloe nourishes and softens skin. It's in the scent pomegranate raspberry. 
and it really does leave my skin feeling so smooth afterwards and I really really love it. I also use it like my armpits and other places that I shave and I feel like it makes my skin so much softer so I really really love it. Also for my skin, um, like body skin, I have been loving Love Beauty and Planets, um, what's this called, lotion, body lotion. Um, I use this multiple times a day. Um, I'm trying to get better about moisturizing other parts of my body besides my hands. My hands get super, super, super dry. So I leave this on my nightstand and then it's always there if something on my body is feeling very dry. Um, I used to be in the habit when I got out of the shower of moisturizing like my stomach, my legs, and my arms. I kind of got out of that habit, which I need to get back into. Um, but I do like having it here so it's ready to go when I do feel dry and I feel like I need to repair. This one I just really, really like because it's not like super thin that it's like watery and you feel like you're not getting moisturized, but it's also not super thick that it feels like greasy once you put it on, if that makes sense to any of you. And I really like this scent, the Shea Velvet. I also have the Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower scent, which I haven't quite finished off yet. And I really, really, really like both scents. Um, all the null hair flying around. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, so I really like these. They're really, really great. They are a little pricey. I think they're like $8 for these bottles. Um, but I bought them at Publix. So I think you can find them pretty much anywhere. And can't recommend them more. They just feel so great on my skin. This isn't really a skincare, but I recommend the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. This is the foundation. Um, it has been so good on my skin. I'm wearing it right now, if you can see. I feel like it provides really good coverage while also making me feel really moisturized and not making me feel super, uh, dry after I put on my makeup. So I really have been enjoying this. I buy this from Whole Foods and it seems to work really, really well. So I definitely recommend. My shade is in 1015 buff. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. As far as lips go, I'm gonna be honest, this is not the most natural product, but I have really, really liked it recently. I got like a cold sore on like the corner of my um, mouth and it was like a weird cold sore, it was like a virus. It wasn't like a, this is gonna sound gross, but it was like a pimple. It was like a really, really dry spot on my lips. And so I um, I started using Carmex because I didn't wanna use like a chapstick that was just gonna spread the virus around my lips. So I used the Carmex because, you know, I could take it off put a little bit on my finger and then kind of like rub it and so I wouldn't have to touch the virus spot on my mouth. This was much much better much much better for that because if I used like a stick it was just going to keep spreading and keep coming back and honestly Carmex the medicated one that I've been using has been so so good for my lips. It's really not uh, natural. It has like propylene or whatever petroleum um, so keep that in mind. But if you are having a lot of trouble with your lips, the medicated version of Carmex is really, really helpful. I also really love, as far as chapsticks go, this EOS chapstick. Um, I like the new ones that they have too that are like mixed in scents. Um, and I think that they are super, super good for your lips. They feel super nice when I use them. Um, I like these better than like, what? I like these better than like the circles because the circles are really, really hard to put in your pocket. Um, I'm a waitress, so putting them in my apron is kind of annoying because they bulge out. So these are really like because they're handy to keep in your bag or in your apron if you're like me. Um, so I just really, really, really like these. And lastly, I know we're talking about skin here, but I wanted to do a quick shout out to this company called Foxy Bay, no fox given, is what it says. Flamingo leave-in cream conditioner. Um, this is what it looks like. I have been loving this for my hair um, because it is important to take care of your hair as well in the winter time because it does get pretty dry out here. You know what I'm saying. But this is just a great product all year long as well because I um, started using it in the summertime. Um, you know, when you're in chlorine and the ocean, things like that. 
Um, I just have been really, really liking it. It's been making my hair really, really soft. And for some reason in Georgia, even though it's way less humid than Florida, my hair has been super frizzy. And I feel like this has really helped calm it down a lot. I don't know what she's growling at, so I apologize for my growling dog. Um, so I have been using this and it has really been helping me keep the frizz down, which I really, really like. So Foxy Bay, I really like this product as well. And lastly, I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I always, always, always recommend drinking water for your skin. It's gonna keep it hydrated. You can look it up online to see how much you should be drinking a day. I guarantee you, if you don't know, then you're probably not drinking enough. I'm supposed to drink like 96 ounces a day. I try to do 100 just because these are each like 20. So I just try to drink five of these a day at least. And then if I drink coffee, tea, or alcohol, I try to add an extra one or two into my diet to try to keep my skin very, very moisturized and hydrated. So that is my tip for you is to drink a lot of water. I'm also gonna have linked in this video um, my acne journey story, which I will put in here right now. And um, anyway, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say today about skincare. Ah. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that this is helpful for you if you are experiencing dry skin or troublesome skin right now in the fall slash winter seasons. Um, I will link as many of these products as I can find down in the description box below. And um, I really hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday season. <laughs> A wonderful holiday season and that you, your skin is healthy and happy this holiday. I do apologize once again for the lighting in this video. I am getting used to this time change in filming videos and right now the sun is going down so it didn't actually end up being the best time to film a video. <laughs> but anyway guys, I love you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Thursday with a very exciting vlog. Bye! Now let's say bye! Say bye. Say bye. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>